Morning. Good morning. How are you guys? We're good so morning. good. Danielle good. with the red shoes. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Station 19, it has everything that a good Shonda Land production does. It is drama filled. Can you tell us about your character? Yeah, my character is Maya Bishop. She's an ex Olympian turned firefighter. She's a lover of life. She's passionate. She's everyone's cheerleader. Um, and she likes to be the first one in those fires and get things done. So. That makes sense. You walked in with positive energy. <laughs> yeah, I kind of instilled that in her. I was like, oh, this is good. Also, yeah. when she walked in, we were like, man, look at her. She works out. <laughs> Look at those biceps. And, but then my response was, but yes, but that's because I eat so much food. I, I have love it. to. Well, that's what we were also talking about. So yeah. we heard that your sister's a firefighter. Yes, and so yes. there's a lot of preparation that goes into that. There did she is. help you with that? She did. She helped me a lot. It was more just getting down, uh, not looking like a fool, like putting all the gear on and like that whole thing and getting down, getting comfortable with everything. Yeah. But, um, but absolutely the training too you side of it. You guys look so cute. Oh, is there a picture? Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> I was like, is there a picture? Your parents must be real proud. Yeah, it's, well, it's much easier now. All they have to do is Say both of our daughters are firefighters, just one on television <laughs> and, and uh, one in real life. But yeah, to she's explain. Does she like? Easier. Does she critique? Like, come on, that's not what we do. She like, did is it she first. more critical of this? Yeah, she did it first, and now that she's come to set, she's like, I get it. I understand how hard you guys are working, and she get. I mean, it's just, and also you got to make it entertaining. Unfortunately, there's a lot of elements of like going through the technical aspects of being a firefighter that would just, you know, they don't leave to good cliffhangers. Well, she's <laughs> acting as your stunt double now, right? She is. She drives I mean, the that's truck. That's so cool. Yeah, it's fun to have her on set. People confuse us for each other all. <laughs> the time. So now episode four, your character's kind of evolving here, yeah. where we learn more about your family in the show, meaning mm -hmm. your brother who's homeless in the show. Yes. And your character kind of develops. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? As yeah. much as you can. I love, yeah, much of it is a cliffhanger. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't even know. That's the thing about Shondaland too, is half the time we don't even know what's yeah. going on right. in the storylines. But, um, but yeah, my brother ends up uh, being found by the, the cop we have on the show, Ryan Tanner, and I'm, I haven't seen him in, in years. And so it's an emotional moment. It's beautiful backstory for my character, considering that what you'll begin to see is Maya's very well off. So the fact that her brother's living on the streets is kind of this juxtaposition of these two worlds colliding. So it's, it's beautiful, and I can't wait to see, for everyone to see it play out. But the writers have definitely done a number because you have so many multiple folds to this character. Something else, you're also a bisexual woman. I am. She gets to represent the LGBT community, right. which I'm so proud to do. I was I was so happy when they announced it. They actually told me that during the pilot when we were filming. They're like, your character. And I'm like, yes, yeah. bring it. And so I was kind of waiting for when that moment was going to happen. It was so great that they kind of just, it was like a throwaway line, which I thought was even more beautiful because it's like, unless you were paying attention, you didn't even realize it. And then you'll also see that story unfold, which is a lot of fun. And the show's gotten a lot of press, obviously, because it's going to be great, but also... Thank you for saying um, that. <laughs> no, it is. I mean, it's Shondaland. Come on. Yeah. But um, the lead character is a Latino woman, which yes. is like, the, it's the first time... I can't believe I'm saying that, but it's the first time that's happened? Yeah, it's kind of ridiculous that it's the first time that's happened. Right? But I'm glad that Shonda, Shonda's the one to do it. Of course, it's Shonda the one, that's the one to do it. But right, yeah, it's awesome to have her on set. It's great that it's three female firefighters in one station, too. I mean, that's not... That's unheard of as well. So from Station 19, I mean, you talk about momentum. You, you shoot uh, Deep Blue Sea too, which I loved the first Deep Blue Sea. So, so did I. I'm really excited <laughs> to see you in the second one. I mean, just uh, the optics of it were beautiful and the storyline was cool. Yeah. So you come back from that, which was in South Africa. I want to know how that was. Oh, yes. And then you come back and you find out you're doing Station 19 as well. So you are hot right it now. It was amazing how that all planned, yeah. but like played out. It was, I came back and I was like, okay, let's, what's the next job? And they sent me in on this audition that I never thought I was going to get. Wow. And I booked it and it all just worked out. But South Africa was amazing. I mean, come if on. you guys haven't been, you have to go. Which part of you, South Africa? We were in Cape Town, but I also went to Kruger Park after and did like okay. the safaris. And Get work to pay for it is yes. obviously oh, the that's plan. Always, <laughs> that's how I we know, got to do it. Really nice. <laughs> Danielle's on to something here. That's a long time ago. Okay, we got to yeah. talk Chicago. Yes, please. Girl. What yes. neighborhood are you from? What do you do? We got to know it all. Well, I'm from California, but I moved to Chicago. I'm in Old Town now, okay. nice. um, which I absolutely love the area. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was searching, I was like, this is where I want to be. Um, and I love this city. I love the city. The pride that this city has for the city itself and just for the country. Like, I feel like everyone here it's infectious. How Danielle, can you tell are. them how important it is to be a true sports fan here in Chicago? Her boyfriend, Andrew, is an yeah. analytics guy for the Chicago Blackhawks. Yep. I said, are you, I know you're a Cali gal originally. Have you embraced Chicago sports? And what, what'd you have to say about that? I what? have. I've come from a sports family, so we were always diehard sports okay. fans. But to come to Chicago, it was like, oh no, okay, this is a whole different environment. Because in LA, it's a little different. But in Chicago, you, I'm a, you got the Cubs, you got the White Sox, you got so the, you the Blackhawks. Those are two baseball you, teams. Do you, really, do you really follow? You can <laughs> <laughs> do you really do you hockey. really care? Okay, I love so hockey. the Bulls and the Lakers are in are playing for the championship. I don't follow basketball. Oh, oh, I think good it all I so well. That's a good answer. Hockey is my number one sport. I think that's why me and my okay. boyfriend connected so Center much. Over. Okay, then I'll give you this. Sport. The Blackhawks yeah. and the
the Kings? The Kings. Are you Kings. Of the Kings? <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to go Blackhawks. I have to. Woo! All right. I know I'm going to get in so much deal. trouble from all my LA friends. <laughs> yep. You're the real deal. Okay, so Station 19, I feel like the, um, the first day on set is sort of like the first day of school. Yes. It's really nerve-wracking. Oh my gosh, you have no idea. How was everybody like reacting to each other? What was that like? We connected instantaneously. Like we, I don't know what it, I mean, it's Shonda Land working her magic yeah. again, but it just instantaneously, we were all in this conference room and we just started talking about our lives and we kind of were like this perfect puzzle that fit together. Everyone kind of balanced each other out and complimented each other and it's, till this day, it's still been like that. We work five days a week, crazy hours and on the weekends we're like, so barbecue at your house? Awesome, okay, I'll see you on Sunday. We're gonna go shopping. Like we love spending time together. Did you know any of the actors beforehand? No one. No one, oh, yeah, wow. just connected. What's Shana Lee Ortiz really cool. like? She's amazing. <laughs> I like her. I she's watched also, her in Rosewood. Tell her I said hi. I will. <laughs> just a little tidbit about her, too. She's a germaphobe. No oh, one ever knows it about me. Me, too. Yeah, you know. <laughs> That's why you guys look oh, like I connect. It, it was meant to be. Well, I got to say, we'll Danielle, your mother must be incredibly proud of you with Mother's Day on the horizon. Uh, there's a picture of you oh, and mom right wow. there. Yep. Uh, how so exciting beautiful. is this for her and the family? She's so excited. She's so happy because she's been there from the beginning. I started in this industry when I was seven, so she's seen the entire ups and downs of the whole thing, and so she's very proud. Supportive she's throughout. Very supportive throughout, and driving to happy. auditions, I'm sure. Driving to me and seeing and seeing like me go through all everything, Aww. but driving me to every single audition and. And uh, yeah, she's very happy, very supportive. It's very emotional for her. Must be nice. My it's mom turns it on, and it's, yeah. my mom turns on it too. She's like, "You look 15 pounds heavy. You need to lose some weight." <laughs> Must be nice to have a mother like that. Yes, That's great. Yeah, she's every time she sees an episode, she's like, "You, are you only say that because she's in Ohio, not she's watching, not watching right, right, now. right now." Oh, exactly. <laughs> I'd be she's bold, but she's here. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much, Danielle. We of so course. appreciate thank it, you and so we're much. excited to watch you. Yes, absolutely. Yes. So guys, and tune in tonight to Station 19 and watch the drama unfold. Should be good.